you're graphing a logarithmic function, you want to do three things. First, find some points that work. Next, find the asymptote. And then, lastly, connect the dots. So here, you're asked to graph f of x equals to log base 3 of x minus 1. So you have to be a little bit strategic when you're picking your values for x that you're going to plug into your equation. So an easy x value to plug in um, here would be x equals to 3. So if you let x equal to 3, what do you get for f of x? Well, the log base 3 of 3 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So you have the point 3, 0. Another value for x you might choose would be 1. Because the log base 3 of 1 is 0, and 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Now, why is the log base 3 of 1 0? So, uh, log base 3 of 1, why is that equal to 0? Because this is asking 3 to what power equals 1? Well, that power is 0. 3 to the 0th power is equal to 1 because of the zero power property. So we've got two points here. Let's find another point. Um, maybe nine. If you pick nine for x, uh, log base three of nine is two, because three squared is nine. Two minus one is one. So you've got three points. You have a point at three, zero, at one, negative one, and at nine, one. So where is the asymptote? Well, there's no horizontal shift here, um, or at least the horizontal shift is zero. So the asymptote is going to be the y-axis so the asymptote is the line x equals to zero. So x equals to zero is the vertical line that the graph of this always approaches but never touches. So then you just want to connect the dots. So x equals to 0 is the asymptote. And this is the graph of log base 3 of x minus 1. You might be wondering how to handle a logarithmic function that uh, does have a horizontal shift. So here you have log base 3 of x minus 2 in parentheses plus 1. And this x minus 2 in parentheses tells us that we have a horizontal shift, and that horizontal shift is 2 units. So again, you're going you're gonna to find at least 3 points, find where the asymptote is, and then connect the dots um, using those 3 points you found. So you have to be strategic, again, as to which x values you pick. You want, to, you want to pick x such that x minus 2 gives you something that's easy to take the log base 3 of. So what's something that's easy to take the log base 3 of? Well, 3 is easy to take the log base 3 of. Uh, 9 is easy to take the log base 3 of. 27, you know, powers of 3 are easy to take the log base 3 of. So pick x in such a way that x minus 2 is equal to 3. So pick x equal to 5, right? Because 5 minus 2 is 3, and the log base 3 of 3 is 1. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have a point 5, 2. So come over to your graph. 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. What else? Well, the log base 3 of 1 is easy, so pick x equal to 3. If x equal to 3... Then you have log base 3 of 1, which is 0, and then 0 plus 1 is 1, so you have the point 3, 1. Maybe you can already see what the asymptote is going to be, um, but for good measure, let's find another point here. Um, you know, another one would be 7. No? 
Not seven. I went the wrong way. Um, eleven. Because eleven minus two is nine. And the log base three of nine is two. So we have the point eleven three. Eleven three. So we have our three points. The asymptote is going to be here. The vertical line x equals to 2. And if you know that this tells you we have a horizontal shift of 2 in the positive direction, then you would already know that. But you can sort of see by the way the points line up. So we have an asymptote. x equals to 2, and then connect the dots, and well, we know that our graph is always going to approach but never touch the vertical line <coughs> x equals to 2. So maybe you're concerned about the domain and range of, these, of this as well. The domain is, remember the domain is all of the x values where my function is defined, and this thing is only defined when x is bigger than 2, right? It never, never touches 2. It's only, this function only exists for x bigger than 2, so the domain is exclusive on 2, but it goes to infinity in the range. Uh, range is all real numbers, right? 